Hi there and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial brought to you by the networking. In this tutorial, we'll be discussing how to make patriotic text effect in Photoshop. Now, I don't really know the exact meaning of the word patriotic, but the main thing is we've got a cool looking text. You can use any flag instead of USA's and uh, just, just for an example I have taken this so first we are going to go to file new and I am going to select a web preset which is 640 into 480 pixels click on ok and first of all we are going to go we are going to go to edit and select fill make sure content use is 50% grey click on ok take your text tool and start adding in the middle and make sure your color is you need to highlight this area and you're going to write over here C A C 9 C 9 so this gives you a bit of light grey color I'm going to click ok and you can use any type of text any type of font and just start writing text you can write any text and just for example I'm writing this use control T to transform your text and we need to unlock the background layer hit control and click over the image to select area and in the text layer we're going to use a line vertically press primary and align horizontally horizontally and vertically control D deselect now we're going to add some blend blending effects to our text open the add new layer style and click on in a shadow and what we're going to have is we're going to have a 20% opacity angle should be about 30 degrees make sure use global light is checked off distance should be 3 choke should be 10 size should be 8 and now for the second thing we're going to add an inner glow S blend mode screen opacity is 20 noise is going to remain as it is 0 and instead of our yellow we're going to check black so it makes that transparent joke should be about just for a second joke should be about 0 and the size should be about 10 now for the bevel and m post part the depth should be about 231 and the size would be 18 direction should be up and soften should be 8 angle should no, actually we are going to check this use global light off I'm going to uh, change this to 110 and second angle to about 45 45 and in the highlight mode the highlight mode should be screen the opacity should be the opacity should be 0 and for the screen mode we're going to use 60 now for the counterpart over here we're going to use this counter which is about half round and let's go back to bevel and bus and change the counter right over here to about a gaussian and now that we have done click on ok and now we have some more of effect now we're going to go and take actually we forgot one last layer style which is the gradient overlay the opacity 
should be 30 and the gradient should be from black to transparent and angle should be 90 and scale should be about 50 click on ok this was the last part now we're going to import a flag but first we're going to get rid of this black gray 50% gray background which is the layer 0 we're going to add a black color hold alt key and press backspace so that we have filled a foreground color go to U as a flag we can download this from Google Images Control C to copy Control A to select all Control C to copy and then on over here we're going to hit Control V but first we're going to uh, select the text layer hit Control V it's a little too big we're going to reduce the size by using a transformation tool and we're going to just place it right over here and we just reduce the opacity to see if, if it fits correctly and yeah it does ok now we're going to go to zero again right click over here and select create clipping mask so now our whole text is covered with our flag and that's it for more facts you can select both of this layer make a new copy Control e to merge them and then right click and select release clipping mask Control t to transform in the same layer and hit control flip vertical and place it right over here and use the perspective option to get some more effect reduce the opacity and use the eraser to delete some areas now we have a refraction too that's it for today thanks for watching this tutorial i hope you like it please don't forget to rate comment and subscribe please do subscribe and thanks for watching my tutorial see you next time